there's major sibling rivalry and it's just anything that she has he wants so if she's playing with a toy he runs up to her he grabs the other end of the toy and starts playing tug of war and there's major fear of missing out Sammy, where's Pepe? oh there he is if we're on walks and Zena's sniffing something, he has to run up and see what she's so interested in. Then he just stands there, confused because birds obviously don't have the same sense of smell as dogs do. He's like, what, what is it? What are we looking at? Taking in the sun. He just made the funniest face. Do you like pain or something? <laughs> they do that. <laughs> Because they he helps kill parasites. It's just an overall self care thing that crows do. Because he trusts us, he will do that anywhere in our yard. Yay. When we first found him, he fell from a hundred foot tree. We actually recorded his noises and then played them on speakers to see if maybe mom would come and check on the baby but she didn't. Aside from bringing him inside at night, just to keep him safe from stray cats, we didn't interact with him more than just feeding. Once I saw that he was taking his first steps, we took him on the ground. Our backyard was actually a great environment for him to explore more. Thanks for helping us break down those dirt clogs. Instead of giving him food directly, it was, okay, here is a mealworm, and he would start pecking at it. Good job! We taught him to fly when he started developing flight feathers. It was a pretty cool experience to see him get the hang of things so quickly. His favorite spot to hide berries are my crocs. If there's a wrinkle on my shirt, he will try to hide it in the wrinkle. It always makes me laugh because he's so smart. It amazes me that he has not learned reliable hiding spots. As he's gotten older, when we do give him food, instead of just eating all of it, he started taking it to make crow friends. So we'd give him good food and like, take it to your friends. We started seeing him with one friend, then two friends, and now he's joined a family. He used to visit us daily, now he visits us once a week. Hi Pepe. Hi Pepe. You are visiting less often now. I missed you Pepe. I missed you! It's bittersweet seeing him become more independent, but as much as I enjoy his company, my goal from the beginning was make sure that he could live as normal of a crow life as possible. Seeing him adapt so, so well to new experiences, new challenges, is always puts a smile on my face. Hi, Pepe. <gasps> okay. <laughs> really appreciative of having that experience with him. <laughs>